Another great feature of Freckle is its reporting ability. If I click on Math and expand that, and click on Reports, I have the ability to uh, see each student's math performance by domain, uh, see my class's performance on a specific standard, um, see what students are setting their goals as. It will even group my students for me if I need to have uh, heterogeneous or homogeneous groups. I can do that. Um, and I can monitor fact practice. So if I'm going to just show you an example of fact practice, since that's something my fourth grade class used a lot last year. I'm going to go back to last three months. And I can see how many questions each student has answered. So I can, if I click on questions, it's going to sort this list and show that Andrea has answered the most questions. In the last three months, she's answered uh, 1,400 math questions with almost 100% accuracy. And I notice down here, one of my other students, Freddie, has answered 456 with a 28% accuracy. He spent 31 minutes doing this. If I expand this, I can see um, what level he is on each subject. So he's on level one right now. To differentiate that, I can show Brian's. If I expand his, he has a level nine, a level 12. If you don't know what level is, you can click on this. You can click on this to learn more about what the levels are, but it's basically the higher the level, the more difficult it gets. It's something that uh, so, sort of um, scaffolds facts. So it's not always the same. It gets a little more difficult. It has students practice things that they need help on. So that's a great practice for fact practice. I'm going to go back to reports and let's see performance by standard. I'm going to go for the last three months. And I can see student proficiency. I have 11 students in the 50% to 80% band. I have four in the over 80%, and I have one below who have answered 258 questions about shapes and patterns. And I can expand this and I can see each student, how many questions they've answered and what range they fall under. The more assignments I give, the more data this will have. So if I notice, okay, 50% to 80%, a lot of my class needs work on this. Um, I can see, click on this button right here and see additional resources to support that standard. If I click on that, it'll take me back to that same standard item and it will show me an inquiry based lesson. It'll show me targeted practice that I can assign. Uh, it'll show me instructional videos that I can use to help students out.